you manage big power. And collecting accurate data is important to what you do. Getting data from the field to the desk can be a cumbersome process, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong along the way. EasyPowers OnSite makes this workflow much more efficient. With OnSite, you collect all your data, photos of electrical equipment, and build your one line in one place. Then transfer the data and one line directly into EasyPower, eliminating tedious work and error along the way. You can enter the equipment information in either a traditional one-line view or in spreadsheet format and still make handwritten notes, but these are stored in the on-site application and associated directly with the piece of equipment you're working with. You can even write notes on your photographs. Back in the office, on-site keeps your process streamlined, allows you to import your data directly into EasyPower, helping you be productive in EasyPower right away. EasyPower OnSite is available now. To request a demonstration of this powerful new tool, visit EasyPower.com. A project includes one lines and spreadsheets and can also include pictures or sketches. All of the project components can be viewed in the database browser and the pictures and sketches are visible in the media gallery. To use OnSite, you first need to create a project. A project can be as large or as small as you need. It can be an entire facility or a small power system study. To create a project, from the on-site start page, tap New Project. On the Use Template tab, tap to select the template you want to use, or tap Copy from another project if you prefer to copy an existing project. For your first project, use the default template. Type the name of the project and then tap OK. It will take a few moments for OnSite to create the project, and then it will display the project home page. Templates include the equipment and equipment properties available to the project. Be aware that we may update the default templates from time to time. Along the left side of the page is a navigation bar. To see a text description of each of the buttons, tap the menu button at the top of the bar. Tap the button again to hide the descriptions. The area on the right of the project home page is where you can configure your project, create and edit one lines and spreadsheets, or work with the media associated with the project. The items are listed in the order they were last opened. Here we see a project that has several one lines, spreadsheets, and media items. One lines are electronic diagrams of your power system. You can display the equipment and connections, and can also enter data for each item on the one line. Use OneLines and OnSite to model your power system and collect your system data. Building a OneLine in OnSite is similar to EasyPower. You can toggle between the category of items you want to see on the equipment palette, such as AC or DC equipment, or buses, and then select items from the equipment palette and drag them onto the one line. When you drag a bus onto the one line, you can select the bus type, name the bus, and set the nominal voltage. Drag the double-headed arrows to extend the size of the bus. The item gripper appears to the side of the equipment item when you drag it onto the one line. You can use this to reposition the item after you drop it onto the one line. Options in the project general settings control whether this gripper appears on the right or left. When you drag an item such as a cable onto the one line, an item gripper appears on both ends of the item as each end can be repositioned independently. Tap the Properties tab to enter information about the selected equipment item. Required properties appear with a yellow background. You can choose not to enter required data at this time, but you will be able to view missing required data when you review the project. You can also add media or notes to the item from this tab. Tap the Properties button or double tap on the item to open a full page of properties for the item. 
This is useful if you need to collect a lot of data for an item and do not want to scroll down the narrower Properties tab. You can open the item properties from multiple places within the app, including OneLines, Spreadsheets, and the database browser. To open the Properties page, tap the Properties button wherever it appears, or double tap on the item. Use the Properties tab on this page to enter and edit the item properties. You can attach media, such as pictures or sketches, to the item on the Media tab. The media you create here are specific to the item, but are also added to the media gallery so they can be attached to other items. You can type notes for the item on the Notes tab. You can also write notes with a stylus. You can have multiple notes on an item. Notes are stored in date order. If a piece of equipment has errors such as missing required data, a warning symbol appears next to the item name. Tap the symbol to view more information about the error. After you place an item on the one line, you can connect additional items to it. There are several ways to accomplish this. One common method is to drag items. Drag the item from the selection bar and move it towards the item to which you want it to connect. As the connecting item moves closer to the connection point, a blue dot appears on each item to indicate that they can be connected. Another common method is to tap to connect. Select the item on the one line to which you want to connect. Items that can connect to the selected item appear with a small plus sign next to them in the equipment palette. Tap the item on the equipment palette to automatically connect it to the item selected on the one line. In OnSite, you add items in the order that they are connected. In this example, a cable is added to the lower connection point of the breaker. This is different from EasyPower, where you might add the cable to the bus and then drop the breaker on top of the cable. You can create a spreadsheet for a bus while still in the one line. The spreadsheet can be for an existing bus or for a new bus. You can create spreadsheets for switchgears, MCCs, panels, panel boards, switchboards, and bus ducts. To create a spreadsheet for an item that is already on the one line, select the item, tap the More button in the action bar, and then tap Create Spreadsheet. The selected item appears in the existing equipment box. Type the number of sections, circuits, or plugs, depending on the spreadsheet type, and then click OK. You can select whether to include the equipment connected to the bus in the new spreadsheet. You are asked to enter the details for each section, circuit, or plug. Tap Finish when done. The spreadsheet is created. There are a number of other actions you can take while editing a one line. Some are visible by tapping the More menu. We will talk about some of these options next. You can copy and paste equipment properties from an item to another equipment item of the same type. First, tap to select the item on the one line for which you want to copy equipment properties. Tap Copy. Tap to select the item or items you want to copy the properties to, and then tap Paste. Notice that the properties are copied from the first item to the Properties tab of the second item. You can zoom in and out by pinching your fingers together or apart on the tablet screen. If you are not using touch mode, you can zoom using the zoom options on the action bar. To select multiple items on the one line, tap the button in the action bar to toggle between single and multi-select, and then select the item or items you want. Tap the selector button again to turn off the overlay. To rename an equipment item from the one line, select the item and then tap Rename in the action bar. 
The name must be unique for each equipment item type. To disconnect an equipment item from the one line, select the item and then tap Disconnect in the action bar. You can also disconnect items by tapping, holding, and then releasing the item and selecting the option from the context menu that appears. If you are using a mouse in desktop mode, you can right-click on the item to bring up the menu. To delete an equipment item from the one line, select the item and then tap Delete in the action bar. You can delete the item from only the one line, which leaves it in the project so that it could be used on another one line or spreadsheet, or you can delete it from both the one line and the project, which removes it completely. You can also delete items by tapping, holding, and then releasing the item, and selecting the option from the context menu that appears. If you are using a mouse in desktop mode, you can right click on the item to bring up the menu. You may have existing items elsewhere in your project, such as on a spreadsheet or another OneLine, that you want to add to your OneLine. To add existing items, tap More and then tap Add Existing. Tap to select the equipment you want to add from the list, and then tap OK. You might also have items that are connected to an equipment item in your OneLine, but that do not appear on the OneLine. For example, if you have created a spreadsheet with connections, and the equipment item for the spreadsheet appears on the OneLine, you can select to add the connected items to your OneLine. When additional items are available to connect, OnSite displays two S-shaped lines next to the item to which the additional items are connected. To add the connected items to the one line, select the connected item on the one line and then tap Add Connected in the action bar. If more than one item is available to connect, select the items you want to add by tapping them to toggle between selected or not selected. When you are done, tap Add to One Line. The selected items now appear on the one line. If you decide you want to delete a one line, you can do so using the database browser. Tap Database Browser in the navigation bar, and then tap the row that lists the one line. Tap Delete, and then tap Yes to confirm the deletion. Note that when you delete the one line, it does not delete the items within the one line from the project. After you create your one lines and spreadsheets for your project, you can review the project to ensure that it is complete and then export the project data so that it can be imported into EasyPower. These topics are described in additional videos. Thank you for your interest in EasyPower OnSite. For more information about OnSite, be sure to view our additional instructional videos. You can also tap Help from within the app to get access to useful information about the OnSite application.